Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example on circle theorems. So let us see the first question. The points P, Q, R and S lie on a circle with diameter P, R. So P, R is a diameter given which means it is going to divide our circle into two equal halves. Work out the size of angle P, S, Q. So angle P, S, Q comes over here giving a geometrical reason for each step of your working. That means whatever we are going to use here, whichever step, we have to give a geometrical reason that why are we going to use this step. So let us start solving this example. Now since PR is given as a diameter, we can think about a circle theorem which says that angle in a semicircle made by diameter is always 90 degrees. You can see here that I have drawn a circle with a diameter AB passing through the center of the circle O. Now if we are using the two endpoints of the diameter and if we are going to make an angle in the semicircle, no matter wherever it is in the semicircle, so this is one angle, we can also draw it this way and we can also draw it this way. So you can see the angles are always made by the line AOB or it can be over this side as well. So you can make n number of angles using the two endpoints of the diameter. So no matter how many angles you make in the semicircle, they always turn out to be 90 degrees. So this angle made by AB is going to be 90. This angle made by AB is 90. This angle made by AB is 90 and so is on this side. This is also going to be 90 degrees. So the statement of this theorem is angle in a semicircle made by the diameter is always 90 degrees. So using this theorem let us try to solve this given example. So we can see that PR is a diameter and it is making an angle PQR in the semicircle. So using the theorem angle Q becomes 90 degrees. So we are going to write here as angle P, Q, R is equal to 90 degrees and we are going to give the same statement of the theorem used here that is angle in a semicircle made by diameter is always 90 degrees. So this is the geometrical reason we have provided for this step. Now let us try to find out angle R because as we can see PQR makes a triangle over here. So using the angle sum property we can write here as angle P plus angle Q plus angle R is equal to 180 degrees. So let me just erase this circle off. Now we have to write the reason again for this. So we can simply write it as all angles of a triangle sum up to 180 degrees. So this is the geometrical reason we have to provide for this step to be used. So angle P in the question is given as 29 degrees. Angle Q we got it as 90 degrees. So we have to find out angle R. So let us write here 29 degrees plus 90 degrees plus angle R is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, we can find out angle R as 180 degrees minus 29 degrees plus 90 degrees. So we have transferred these two degrees on the other side. So let us find out how much we get over here. So we get the value over here as 61 degrees. So let us just go over here and mark over here as 61 degrees. But the question is asking us to find the angle PSQ that is this angle. So let me just mark it. So angle P, S and Q. Now using another circle theorem which states that angles in same segment are equal. I have drawn a circle over here and marked two points. Now 
the small segment the small part of the circle we see here is called as a minor segment and the major part on the other side of the circle is called as a major segment now if these two points we are going to make some angles for example over here this is one angle made by these two points and maybe these are another set of angles made by these two points and it goes on you can see that the angles are made in the major segment by these two points this way since all these angles are in the same segment that is the major segment so if this angle becomes 20 degrees then rest all the angles are also going to be equal to 20 degrees 20 degrees and here 20 degrees so angles in the same segment are equal since all the angles are in the major segment all the angles become equal so let us try to use this circle theorem over here and try to find out what is the value of s now as you can see p and q are the two points and this is the minor segment which they are forming and the opposite side of the circle this the big one is the major segment and let us see if these two points are forming angles in the same major segment so the first one we can think about is PRQ so this is one angle made in the major segment by these two points and another angle made is PSQ so this angle and this angle both are in the major segment so if this is 61 degrees then angle S is also going to be 61 degrees because both the angles are in the same major segment Hence, we write the solution of this example as so angle PSQ is equal to angle PRRQ is equal to 61 degrees. So, the reasoning we are going to give over here is angles in the same segment are equal. So, this is the reason we are going to give and this will give you the final answer of this example i hope you have understood the concept and like the video so if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching